So let's start the recording. At nine, I can see you get it. So we have you on the call. By hoping that others are joining. How was the weekend, guys? How is everything so far? We are in the week four. We are, you know, we are progressing further, and of course, congrats for making it this far to everyone. So as you know, for today, we start with, uh, of course, you have to start sharing how the week was a little bit, how the weekend was, how did you manage your yesterday, I mean, Sunday to take a rest. So and any information you can share with us. So we will take few people to share us how the weekend was. It can be anything outside the, the challenge, but also you can include that. So after that, we I will we come, we have to to moderate the presentations. I know and I hope that everybody has come up with something to share with us and to be very short, three to five minutes. So everyone can, can probably get a chance or about 75% of trainees can have a chance to present. So Etna, good morning. I can see your hand up. Hello. Hello. Did you did you mention my name? Yeah, I saw your hand up. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I thought you said uh, we can talk about our weekend. <laughs> if so, um, well, I had a uh, good rest yesterday. Um, okay. I watched um, a couple of episodes of. Uh, a series called the westworld maybe you know about it, it was interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> well that's all i like uh, that's all i i did my weekend that's great how are you feeling for this week uh, the progress so far on your side uh i think uh, i well i learned uh, a lot to do a lot of things but um I'm hopeful that uh, this week I will manage to do because I I I haven't managed to finish all the uh, the tasks on the challenge. I'm hoping this week I will manage to control my time better and to to finish all the work. Hopefully. All right, great. That's great. Thanks, Etnan, for sharing. So, any other person to share with us? I can ask some. Adewak Asefa, can you share with us how your weekend was? Or touch a little bit. Okay, thank how... you. Um, good morning, everybody. Good um, morning. Yeah, I have been uh, celebrating an Ethiopian New Year with my friends and family, and I had a great time yesterday. Uh, you know, all I think it was an Ethiopian New Year. So I had a, a good time. Oh, that's nice. So yeah. Happy New Year to every Ethiopian. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. On the call. My wish too. I hope I hope you celebrated. Sure. Yeah. Great. Great. Thanks. Um, for sharing. One last person willing to share with us. Kenneth, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Good morning. Uh. Yesterday and the last week was a little bit intensive uh, for me, and I will try to do uh, all the challenges as we can. Uh, and uh, uh, yesterday was a European uh, New Year. Uh, I was celebrating with my family by cooking uh, cultural food mm -hmm. and uh, eating lunches with family lunch. And that's all. It was very nice. Thank you. Great. So, are you optimistic so far, based on your progress? Uh, yes. I uh, yeah, last, uh, especially last week, I had tried my best to do all the the challenges, and uh, mm. I'll try to put, to put all my efforts and time on the challenge. Okay. And uh, I hope. Uh, from the last two weeks, this week is better than 
these are for me. Okay. Thanks, guys. Nathaniel, then we start the presentation. Okay. Uh, good morning and uh, happy new year to all the speakers. Uh, uh, I want to share some things like, um, about what, what was like uh, last week, especially with, uh, in the previous week. So uh, I had a huge blocker uh, in my laptop. Uh, it keeps crashing, I think. Since uh, well, Wednesday, it, it, it crashed more than 15 times and I couldn't work like at all. So it was a problem while I was training with the models, uh, any kind of the model, perfect deep learning and my random part. I couldn't like, train them effectively. Uh, somehow uh, I, it works, but uh, it doesn't work at the same time. Like, I can't work uh, while the model is training. But the PC will freeze at the same time, and it kept like six months of my week. But at the end, I guess it's gonna go for me. Okay, thanks, Ed. Nathaniel. So sorry, I was not able to hear you, but I could sense that everything was was great. So I will invite Yabiba. Good morning, Yabiba. Hello, morning, everyone. Morning. Yeah, so shall I take over? Yeah, you, you, you really can. Okay, so, great. And hi, everyone, and happy new year. And for all the Ethiopians, including me, and hopefully that you had really, really, really good time so that you can just now, you know, just go to, uh, a challenge today i think it in when i grew up it's like if a school starts the next day after usually that's how the, in ethiopia the school starts kind of in september i think nobody would go or you know it's just kind of classes becomes like really problematic but this time we're not children hopefully that you still have the energy if not you can try to also just i think you know shave some time from here spend it in with families and friends a little bit but you know uh know that this week's challenge is quite interesting it's very very probably exciting as well so you know it's a lot of reading so even if you are not in your computer if you can able to print some you can actually just be off the screen as well once you know it's kind of at least for today with that we will come about this week's challenge in later in the challenge uh, walkthrough but for now let's talk about you know the kind of every work that you do i think by now you have understood we try to your time is for us our we are like banks and your time is the money that we are storing and we want to every time that you spend on any work it should be valuable uh, towards your goal like you know, you're saving it towards like something in that sense in that analogy you're saving it for example to buy a job you know call it and so it has to be very much aligned towards like other people employers would find you attractive would find you immediately they see it and they see value and usually there are two things for that one of course is your work that is visible and the second part is that your communication to them right because they usually don't have time they want just a three minutes version of what you have done right so this is that is why on mondays we try to not leave the work like a submission and work that's it and graded but much more you are able to talk about it and therefore now i want to see competitions people to get you know we don't have everyone we um will, will not be able to make it to present but you know those people who fight and put their first their hands first will be able to um talk and in particular those who hasn't been talked you must i mean i i admit i won't remember who has talked and who hasn't talked but i know some people ha i haven't heard from them so please just put your hand um and you know explain what you have done just in three minutes you know this kind of like this is what i planned this is what i achieved this was what was the challenge 
and this was what was the solution um, that I came up. So put your hands and let's see, let's hear. Practice, it's a mini practice. And I really, really encourage that people who hasn't talked before, they should put their hands, okay? I will start, of course, as I say, there is a huge competition coming up. I let me care. And just, you know, keep putting your hands, others. Go on, Helen. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let me share my screen. And, uh, first, uh, I want to say Happy New Year for all of you. Uh, and can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so uh, last week's challenge was pharmaceutical sales prediction. Uh, and I prepared a slide for that. So uh, our data uh, looks like this. We have ID, store, sales, customers, and other columns. Uh, and after that, uh, I did data cleaning. In the data cleaning part, uh, first, uh, I printed out. Uh, I tried to see the missing parts and the training data didn't have uh, missing uh, missing data and we have uh, 11 missing parts in the test data set and the store data set has a couple of missing uh, data and after that i handled the missing values using min min and uh, mode by replacing by replacing them with min and mode and after that i go to the eda part and in the eda part uh, i try to see the, the relations of the sales column and uh, other uh, columns. Uh, and uh, those are the plots in the EDA. And after that, I go to the pre processing part. And in the pre processing part, uh, I, work, I did, uh, I dropped some columns. I did normalization, standard scaling, uh, and minimax scaling, and label encoding. Uh, and after that, I go to the pre-modeling part and the pre in the pre-modeling, I uh, created a pipeline using scikit pipeline. And after that, uh, I split the data to split and uh, I split the data to target and our features. And after that, I passed uh, the split data to the model. Uh, so uh, in the modeling part, I used random forest with uh, the following parameters uh, and after that uh, this is I plotted the output of the model and the predict one is uh, the yellow part and the blue part is our actual value uh, and after that I uh, I created a deep learning using LSTM uh, and our LSTM has uh, three, three layers and uh, I put some dropouts uh, after each layer, and uh, the output layer is one dense output layer. And as you see, these are the parameters of our model. And uh, I trained the model using Adam Optimizer, mean squared error. And actually, uh, my laptop is not that much good, so I trained it, trained it in just 10 epochs. Uh, and uh, I used uh, 64 batch size. Uh, and so uh, uh, I created a dashboard for my model and the dashboard uh, includes just only uh, a file uploading. And I, I uploaded the CSV file and I cl after I click the info with the uploaded Data beta button, uh, it will show me the predictions of our model. So, this was my work. Thank you very much. Excellent. Really excellent as well, just the way that you presented in the slides. Really well done. But what does a, gr a graph show like after your prediction? And uh, it, it doesn't, it's not, is it days afterwards? Uh, which one? The, the X axis. The X axis. Uh, uh, you know, a, a plot without a label is just basically yes uh, yeah. not useful. So, what is x-axis? Is that the time? Yes, the time and the y-axis is sales. 
and why so sales in fraction uh, actually i think i uh, it's a normalized quantity right yes 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 exactly. uh, so it's so yeah. that's why almost always now you've done beautiful everything whatever at the last minute the real kick that you have to do you failed in that sense like because yeah. then you're like okay I, i've done everything but i don't care about the result right it's it shouldn't be you should care you know the baby is in this case just the you know your result sometimes so just think about it i understand this is practice that's why but like the final part and the start part the really, really key components i mean everything is key but the most important is how you end your your presentation and how you start right so the i think your presentation is fantastic but don't just throw everything um, because you didn't think about uh, the, the final plot or the final slide. But great overall, great. So we had hands, but now they are not there. So just please put them up, but I will just call from wherever I have seen, Brahanu. Because if it's not, your hand is not there, unfortunately I am, but there was more hands. So please just put your hands. Okay, Brahanu. Good morning. Morning. Okay, happy new year for who celebrates a new year. Uh, it has uh, start uh, sharing my yeah. screen and uh, present it. Is that visible? Yes, it's coming. Okay. Okay. Uh, to present my last week, uh, week uh, tasks, uh, the sale prediction of uh, Parma SQL uh, from across multi uh, uh, store. Uh, let us uh, from overview uh, what I did in past week. Uh, the first one, I try to introduce uh, somewhat introduction in the data environment, what I set up in the EDA, uh, pre-processing, building the uh, model within the scale learning by plan and uh, Using the deep learning after at the end, I will present the deployment to introduce the data, uh, the the overview, the challenges uh, to predict the sales uh, of the stores. Uh, Just to let you know, you you have only now one and fifty minutes, one one minutes and fifty seconds. Just so that you know what three minutes mean. Go on. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I did. Uh, I just uh, start from uh, setting the environment after i set up my environment i try to explore the our data with uh, within different distribution for each uh, columns and also uh, after eda i will i was uh, pre-processing the data uh, the first i pre-processing the three uh, the train in the, the store and i merge both the data in the um, uh, store on the DVC. Then, after I pre-processing in the ED, I will I will uh, build the model using the scalar pipeline using the random uh, forest registration. And also, I was uh, trained within the hyperparameter and the and at the end calculate the uh, future importance of that each uh, futures. And also, at the end, I, I was uh, calculate evaluate the, using the evaluation matrix. Uh, uh, root mean square error uh, and uh, i was also uh, built the deep learning uh, model using the lstm uh, for time uh, series and I'll, i was uh, used the two layers uh, that was uh, sequentially uh, the approach was 200 and i was get the validation and the training loose for the accuracy i was uh, use the loose function for for uh, building the deployments i uh, was uh, streamlates to so deploying the interface in the for, de for deploying the i use how you could just the deployment use uh, show the interface uh, there is uh, multiple functional left i was planned to uh, do the, the left job at the end the uh, time series of, uh, time series data is good within the uh, LSTM to predict the future sales and uh, use the more parameters. That is all. I think. Thank you. Sorry for it. Great. No, I, I think that's good. You know, um, and it, it's hard. I would make the same mistake, right? Almost always. It's it's not. It's about practice. 
and also it's on the fly. So one of my advice for you guys, just it's for everyone, focus which one you want to show, right? It's like what is really the key things that you want to impress uh, or like you want to tell. And, uh, you know, three minutes is really, really consider it. There's nothing you will talk about in three minutes. It's just that you can only say this was it and this was the pipeline. And I think you did it really well in that. You went through it. But then you could zoom one place where you really want to highlight and show and and kind of like that usually helps uh instead of trying to finish the slide so but overall good uh i want people I to will raise modify in the future thank you yeah no it's okay this is just exactly for that right it's just about keeping practice just on the fly and stuff so that that makes it uh, for everyone but i want people who hasn't talked on mondays i want them to put their hands you can't go today without speaking you know just uh, whatever it takes you will not so better if you want it to to last earlier please just raise your hand or write me like why you can't do it today as well um but you, you know you have to it's not just that uh, okay the gag good morning morning okay i'm sharing my screen okay so yeah, can you, you, you will. Yes, you will hear also just the thing that I'm now starting now um, the timer. Go on. OK, sorry. Okay. So uh, this, this was the objective. Uh, I will not talk much about this. Let me focus on what I've been doing. Uh, first, I tried to understand the given data set, which is store, train, and the other one is test. I tried to understand what columns uh, does the data set have and what the, their data type is. Then I tried to do some data exploration. Uh, I, we can see that uh, most of the stores are not promoted, uh, which means they don't have promotion uh, in both the training and the test data set. Uh, most of them are not promoted. Uh, the other thing that I tried to uh, understand is the effects of holiday. Uh, we, we can see that the sales on each holiday is, is dropped and after the holiday it again uh, stay dropped for a while and they become uh, normal or uh, become to the normal uh, sales. Uh, then I have tried to uh, see the correlation between the each attributes in the store data. Then we can see that the customers, number of customers has effect on the sales, uh, but decrease in, in number of customers uh, doesn't mean that the sales is decreasing because one person may spend much uh, and the sales may in, increase. Uh, uh, the other thing is the relation between sales and the promotion and the sales. Uh, we can see that uh, promotion can really increase sales, but it doesn't increase the, the customers number maybe uh, when there is a promotion uh, uh, customers that already buying may spend or may buy more uh, so that it is increasing our sales uh, the other thing i try to uh, explore is the effects uh, when the store is open on weekend and they uh, they are closed on weekend uh, some stores are open on weekend and they, they, they are having uh, a better sale or weekend uh, when we compare, when we see opening on weekend has a, a better impact on the sales. Uh, the other thing, I think this, I have to pass over this. Uh, the other thing I did is a pre-processing which, in which I generated uh, features. I generally generated around 29 columns, uh, including the already existing and the, the, new, I, the new columns that I generated from the existing one. Then I did a level encoding for the categorical attributes. Then I scaled the numerical attribute using the min max scaler. Then I did a random forest uh, regressor. The challenge over here is that there is many stores around 1,150. 1, we cannot just do the, the regression by considering them all together because we have to do the, them separately. We have to develop different model for each 1,150. 1, and we have to come up 
to for this solution but i did uh, regression for a single store for store one and uh, we can see the data over here with a square error mean square error and the uh, r2 score which is 19. Uh, i think this can be solved with the problem of having many store can be solved with the deep learning by converting the data into three-dimensional uh, three-dimensional data uh, then uh, for the RTM regressor, I have. So I will I will stop you here, because of time okay. is already quite. Uh, but again, it's good. I mean, I I like that you focused on you know your understanding, which is a good one. Um, even if you don't present the other one, it's fine. But again, you would I was expecting that you would just say because of time, now you know it's like the rest I have deployed whatever. But that's it. You know, it would be nice just to conclude it okay. knowing that. You know, that's why I put the alarm today, just so that you can feel that you have, you know, you've reached the time. But great. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so um, uh, no, I let's go just to another person because you know, like we need to go. It's only three minutes that I give, and then stream from right. start to the end, and then thirty seconds. Um, okay, Margaret. Um, hi. Hi. And uh, and just while you are there, I just want uh, Tigisti, Nabil, um, I think the, the Gedeon, Emitnan, I expect you to present as well, just so that you are ready. Go. Um, so for how I handled my project on week three, um, I mostly did uh, the first part, which is exploring the customer purchase behavior, but I got some blockers um, with my VS code when proceeding from pre-processing to modeling part. Somehow I could not import my modules from the scripts, but uh, this is what I did. So, um, so business understanding, um, because of time, I think everyone understands the business understanding. And I also explained a bit of the data overview um, and then plotted uh, the different distributions between the train and the test. And um, the reason why we have the different tests, the different uh, tests and trained uh, data sets is for definitely for training the model and testing it. Uh, that's what I explained here. And then plotting the uh, uh, bivariate analysis for the sales behavior versus the school holidays, we can see that um, there's a lot of strength uh, at zero. Um, Okay, um, it's not good. Uh, I'm trying to... You can, you can press the slideshow just on the top. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you can see that um, there, when there's no school holiday, uh, the sales are more than when there's no school holiday. Uh, also, sales holiday you can see that when there's no holiday that is when the sales are more and they are the sales are very very low when there are um when there are, when there's a public holiday easter holiday and yeah uh also this is still the same as the so, other uh, so in this case for example margaret i would say you know that that was true, but that doesn't make sense, right? Because if it's, if there's a holiday, maybe it's closed. If it's closed, you can't compare it. So do you, like, it would make sense to really compare before or after in such before a way that it is, yeah, because I mean, at that holiday, of course, okay. it, it may be, now we might separate holidays to be closed holidays that, you know, supermarkets or whatever are closed or not. But okay. if they are closed, there's no sales. So it doesn't make sense just to say uh, when there is a holiday, the sales are small. Okay. Um, does this make much more sense? Because it shows uh, the, the flow. Uh, and then 
this is when there's holidays, so we can be able to see the before and after. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it, it, it just just only to comment. Sometimes you have to know what you are saying, just so that you are not evaluated as like, okay, does she know what what she's kind of like? What does that mean? I mean, um, so it's only for that. But go on, proceed. I added one minute for you because I, I took. Okay. Go on. Um, and then we. But you have did... only you know thirty seconds still. <laughs> Okay, uh, correlation analysis between sales and customers. There's a positive uh, correlation, so increase in customers, increase in sales. Also, uh, promotions. Um, there's an increase in uh, the more the promos, uh, the more the sales. And same as the customers. Uh, this is exploring customer behavior during the weekdays and you can see the days when they're open and when they're not um, also compared the sales during the weekdays uh, the days of the week and see which days uh, we find that Mondays are mostly the days with the highest sales um, the assortment type um, so the different uh, stores have different assortment types so we yeah we see that the assortment type a um has more sales than assortment type c and then the sales versus competitors um there's a negative correlation between customers hence the increase in distance from the competitors leads to a reduction in sales and uh, to complete the project, we'll pre-process the data to improve accuracy and then build a prediction model using a random regress, forest regressor and LSTM and then evaluate both models and look at the model drift and finally deploy uh, a work on the dashboard. Great, thank you. Okay. Uh, not Niall, but the people that I've mentioned your name, uh, next I'm going to call you, so it's just better if you just put your hands. Go on, Nathanael. Okay. Uh, I'll try to demonstrate uh, the dashboard I have managed to prepare. Let me share my screen. Okay, is it visible? Yeah. Okay, so uh, first there, there is a, an EDA part, and for the EDA part, uh, just uh, there in the, I've, I've managed to just provide a few a few analysis on that. So sales and customer across different store types. So we have uh, we can see that uh, store type B has uh, a higher sales and customer. And also from the from the assortment side, the assortment type B as the high one, and also for the promotion in the intervals. Uh, so uh, customer and sales uh, again. So if you, uh, on January, April, and July, the promotions that run on that uh, specific time are the somehow higher customer and uh, higher sales. So in the in this one part, the store and open closed. So which means uh, I just want to demonstrate the, what are the most closed times, so the, the most closed days, and the most open ones. So we can see that somehow uh, Saturday is the most open, the, the have the higher sales, uh, and it's open. So and after the, that, I have uh, Monday. Uh, so I think December had the highest sales. And then I have a correlation. Uh, so uh, in uh, in my findings, I have found the customer has a higher correlation uh, with the sales. And uh, prom I will demonstrate I will demonst demonstrate the promotion impact. And we can see that uh, in almost in all store types, promotion has a uh, if there is a promotion, there is a higher sales. And uh, I don't think I have time to go through all of them, so I, I will just demonstrate my prediction part. So I have I've prepared uh, the two, a two type of prediction just by filling the below form. Somehow the 
relevant informations or by choosing a CSV file. So uh, I'll just try to demonstrate the CSV one. I just took uh, the test cells data set and somehow the first 10, 10, somehow the first 10, I think. So we can see that our result, I don't think my model is very efficient, but this is my result. And here we can download the CSV file. And uh, so some, I have managed to predict the customer and the predicted cells for each store. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm sure it's not that efficient since I, I I didn't get to train all of the all of all the models effectively uh, my PC kept crashing so that was my, my huge blocker and thank you I guess excellent even you have 30 seconds now but I want to ask that with that one so it, what is the predicted versus you know what is the performance of the model um it would be nice just to show just that uh -huh. one as a plot or something to add so that it's, but this is great. Excellent work and okay. excellent way of presenting it because now we basically demonstrate everything. Everybody now they know, okay, you have done all that, but you know, that this is kind of good. So now already just now is three minutes. So well done, great. Um, so the Gusti. Or do we have? But I, I just want because I, I don't think I heard from the people that I mentioned. So Tugustin, Nabil, Emitnan, and I think Janerose as well. Okay, but I definitely expect you to talk one time. So that's. You know, it's not so a few times is an excuse, but you know, be prepared. I think this, um, I want to hear from everyone ultimately. And if it is four weeks without me hearing you just present your work, then it's not a good thing. So you have to be prepared to be able to, to do that. And uh, Nabil or Nabil. We have Nabil Araga. Okay. Um, Emitina. Okay. Um, Gianni Rose, Oriana Rose. Um, hello, good morning. Hi. Um, okay, so I'm going to present my work. Great. And, and for the others, if you are expecting that you have to present something complete, that's not the point. You just have to talk anything that you have, the effort that you put in, and you are trying to explain that. It's not a complete work we expect. It's not a prepared presentation we expect. You can just present your GitHub. You can present, you know, your report. So there's no pressure. We just, I just want to hear people talking, explaining their work. That's the whole point. So don't don't get the pressure that you have to present something complete. Okay, it's not that. Go on. Rose. Um, okay, so this is what I was able to do. This is my report, and I started with understanding what the objective was and the business itself. Uh, after I understood that, I went ahead and performed some exploratory data analysis getting the unique values from each data set, 
and plotting customer behavior when the stores are open and closed on each day. Then after that, I went and performed, I went ahead and found out the relationship between sales and the retail assortment. There are three types of retail assortment, the basic, extended, and extra. Uh, then towards my methods, I was able to merge the training data set and the stores data set, uh, combine them, and I versioned it as version 0.0, .0 train and 0, 0.0 test, just to differentiate which one to work on when training and testing. Then during preparation, I was able to plot a box plot of the outliers. I singled out these three variables because uh, I, I think that they had the most effect on the project and to predict sales. And I also went ahead and found out how many null values we had in each data set. And after that, there were six columns, six features that stood out to have null values, and they were the competition distance. The competition opens since month, opens since year, promo to since week, promo to since year, and promo interval. So on those six features, I was able to perform interpolation and simple impute to fill in the missing values. Uh, for this, I used a pipeline, an SKLAN pipeline, to fill in the, uh, to perform pre-processing. The pipeline also included one hot encoding and six scaling using standard scalar. And after that, I used the random regressor to calculate the importance of each feature. And uh, yeah, that was the graph I got. Sorry, I wasn't able to label which feature they were, they're just numbers down there. And after that, I used the same random forest to model to predict the sales for the data set that I was given. And then I calculated the performance metrics. I used the mean absolute error to find that it had an, it was off. So it's the prediction by $876. And yeah, this is my Streamlit front end, the front end of my Streamlit dashboard. And that's all, thank you. Wonderful, thank you. I think that was good, calm, very good. Um, but what what would you have liked someone to know about your work? Like about, you know, if you were to sell, what, what would be the one that you would like them to understand? Uh, that using a deep learning model would have produced- no, no, About you, about you. No, no, about Sorry. you as well. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so what part of your strings you want to highlight? Uh, well, okay, I'd like to highlight about about me of the data. Okay, and your understanding of the data, or your modeling skill, or you know your overall business context. So, you know, in in a way, like everyone would understand something based on your work and where which which strengths you want to highlight where are you more comfortable or what what you know what would you like to sell i'm more comfortable in eda but okay. this week like last week last week i was able to pass the eda into modeling i focused right. more on my modeling than eda now so great so it was about your modeling your understanding and modeling i mean you did it well so that's good um and i think that calm and very and taking just only the required time very good okay um Josias. okay hello hello this week i was not able to do the development because i was sick but um i will share with you what i have done 
That's uh, I, I did EDA, and, uh, but I would like to focus on the modeling and the dashboard. So here I try to to train a list of models. Yeah, but again, even if you, have, you want to focus on modeling, you have to come to that. Otherwise, it becomes no context. So you have to, of course, give the context and then just move quickly to modeling. But you can't just start from modeling. Then otherwise, people don't know what you're talking. So let's say very in 30 seconds, come to the modeling from just the objective, what you did without explaining exploration, but then come to, but you have to enter modeling. So the objective first was to predict the sales for Grossman pharmaceutical company. And uh, first I tried to understand the data and uh, the fields in the data are sales. Uh, after that we have some it's like promo and others. So uh, I use modeling to try to predict the sales for each store. And uh, I train a list of model. Uh, I use to get a random forest model and the, the score was about 58%. But after after training them, I have noticed that the three best models are the, are the random forest, the SGB, and the um, and the cast the cat boost repression. And I tried now to predict the sales of those here, but I create a dashboard which is able to predict the stock. Uh, which is able to predict the sales for each store for a given store that we can choose. I'll show it in the web here. I don't know if you can see this see the screen. We only see your base code. Yeah. I'll show you the dashboard. Yeah. Um, I think it's there. So, this is my the dashboard for the exploration part. Uh, okay, we can choose a type, a, a store type here. Uh, after that, we can choose, we can pick a, a, a store that we want, and it will show us up. A, a spirit of visualization. Come. Okay, we can see here sales, the, uh, the general trend of sales, sales per year, sales per year, and school holiday. Others. But the most important is, is the prediction part. Uh, The same thing, I just have to choose the. Yeah. So, now we're <laughs> seconds out from uh, now your time. So, here, for example, your main issue is that you haven't pre opened them. Knowing that it takes time, it would be useful to pre open them. Maybe, you know, that, that's, that's the part. Usually, don't try, uh, the interactiveness is great but sometimes have open windows that actually also show, especially if it takes time, like extremely it's really bad for that, right? It takes time to load things. So I would say, um, try to always just pre-open them if you are showing something that is not fast because it take already that took time for you. Okay. But this is great, looks good. You could have started actually directly from the dashboard as well. Um, that would have saved you some time, but showing the code uh, was also great, right? So that's, um, but I think in this sense, knowing that you have done everything, you know, you didn't need to show the code. You could just directly start from the dashboard because you had everything. 
Great. Awesome. Okay. So we have one, one chance for anyone who is interested to, to talk. Uh, Everest. Yeah, thanks. I just wanted to drop in to see if you can uh, allow time for the hot seat. Or do you have some extra time before the... No, I think we can just... We can... Yeah, I can hand over so that the hot seat can continue. All right. Emilie, are you on the call? Yeah, I'm here. Please. It's your turn. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. And thank you, uh, your host. And uh, that is to give me this time. So welcome into week four. Uh, without further ado, let me welcome our hot seat today, the Gaga World. Please, if you're able to open your, your video, to put on your video, that would be fine. So you can just make it quick and ask him questions. Right, so we can open this uh, hot seat. We have the Gaga. So if you have a question, please, your hands, then we go on with the vibes. Thank you. Who's the first one? The first person to ask, the first person to ask. Maybe before before they ask, how are you feeling, the Gaga? How is this seat? Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm I'm already feeling the heat. Okay, you're already <laughs> feeling the heat. All right, thank you. So, uh, who's 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 the first the first person to ask? Hands, hands, hands. Yes, Mohammed. Uh, hey, good morning, the Gaga. Good morning. Uh, I want to ask you about how did you manage or how do you manage uh, failing and completing the tasks and delivering the deliverables of the weeks uh, from the first day to the till Saturday, uh, the deadline of submission. How few did seconds, you plan Let's that? use a few seconds, please. I think the question is hard, right? Yeah. If you're not ready Let for me, that, no problem. Uh, I can I can say something short. Uh, I, I I don't think that um, uh, I should be able to submit all the tasks, but I focus. I give priority for the tasks that I should complete first. Then uh, after completing the highest priority, I go to the next. Okay. That's how I manage. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, the next person we have. Uh... We have uh, Everest. Everest, your quick question. A few seconds, please. Agenda, who did you celebrate your New Year with? Uh, come again, please. You're from Ethiopia, right? Yeah, yeah. Who did you celebrate your New Year with yesterday? So, okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, I celebrate it with my brothers. Uh, I, I'm now far from my family, from my mother and my father. So I celebrate brothers which are living with me. Okay, okay. I hope maybe you won't say someone else. I will ask that question later. Uh, Josius? Yeah, hello, Begega. It's nice to see you. I worked with you last week. Uh, I'll yeah, yeah, you're right, right. <laughs> yeah. I just want to know the meaning of your name, the Gaga or the other name. The meaning of your name. I didn't get that. The meaning of my name? The Gaga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it means that the Gaga means that uh, development. It is from Afan Romo. It means development. It sounds cool. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Gaga, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, not now. <laughs> I don't have. <laughs> okay, questions, questions, questions. When are you planning to have one? Like, uh, maybe in the in the future. <laughs> in the future, I think I should have one, right? <laughs> and define yeah. the future. Okay, Margaret. Uh, um, how many years of coding experience do you have? Both. Uh, self to attend working. Uh, I didn't get that. Come again, please. How many years of experience in coding do you have? Okay, so uh, I am I'm, I'm a, I graduated from engineering, 
So I, I think I started coding from my first year in university, which is uh, six years from now. And uh, I've also working experience of one year uh, coding. Okay, okay, Biranu. Good morning, Gragra. Okay, Good morning. Uh, my question, uh, what, what is uh, one thing that makes the future scary for you? Okay, I think that that's a difficult question, but, uh, but I think if I'm afraid that if I fail to fulfill my goal, uh, that that would be very scary. Great, thank you.